that was also the period where I started discovering like art software. Like I still need to do everything part of it in analog. I will never give up paint. I will never right. give up pencil. I agree like, with you hundred <laughs> percent. But I've actually spent most of my adult life figuring out processes that meld kind of analog and digital together. Um, a lot of the abstracts that I do are built from work on a canvas, mm -hmm. let it get to the stage, I'll let it dry, and then I literally take it and I plunk it on top of a scanner and I start scanning bits that I like. Do you really? They become samples. Yeah, they become samples that I then keep in a giant library. I've got, I've got about three terabytes of nothing but my own samples, which I periodically put more stuff into, and then I start picking pieces when I start thinking of a new idea to work on, mm -hmm. and I start Steining new ones together. Like I have some paintings that are sometimes built from some similar bits, but look nothing alike because the ultimate result has been stitched and torqued from from different spots. I dig and that. In fact, and it, yeah, and in fact, it's like it's a it's it's um, it's a very hip hop thing to do in a lot of ways. But it's like yeah, let me take some weird samples that don't seem to make sense together, and then come up with a cohesive end result. That right. It's a surprise because once again, especially for the abstract stuff. It's a very Zen thing for me. I'm just I'm feeling my way through taking the stuff that I've already done before, and I might have recollections of how I arrived at these different pieces, and then I go, okay, oh, this is looking totally different than what I had even thought it might be, but it's looking cool, so I'm going to keep going with this. And sometimes you surprise yourself, but um, yeah, I fascinated with the technology for for facilitating that kind of stuff. There's obvious benefits to like, oh, I can tweak colors or I can mess with contrasts and play with the histogram and you know, you know the, the actual stitching and masking and doing stuff. Um, but I think there's more to it than that. I think it actually facilitates different conceptual way of working with your own stuff. Yeah. Uh, and there's also stuff out there like I love arabesques and I like, you know, patterns and textures. So I have tried to find software like that lets me write my own filters, that lets me create my own effects. That nice. become kind of strictly my own thing. Um, so I, I, but I, I can never switch to one side or the other fully. Like if I had to pick between the two, I would probably go straight back to analog by preference. There's something about the kinetic feeling of working into a surface that I, like that nothing else really replaces. Yeah. But I love being able to bounce between the two and, and keep iterating on, on like, oh, I did that piece six years ago and it was mostly crap except for that one spot. I'm going right. to scan that. And do something with it, right? You don't know what it is, and, and you know, someday, somewhere down the line, you know, there's paintings that I've I have finished in the last year that parts of them probably started 15 years ago. Nice. That were just like, they were just DOA, and you're like, there's something I can do with that thing. I don't. Uh, let me scan it and figure it out. You know, and then you you all of a sudden, oh, damn, I got I figured something out. Right. How, well, how big of a scanner do you have? I've got. A, I mean, it's. Uh, it's like a 12 by 16. Okay. No, it's, it's like a 9 by 14. It's, it's one of the slightly bigger ones. It's not the full large scale ones. But you're still really the, you don't have one like as big as the canvas behind you. No, I have to sample it in chunks. There's just no way gotcha. to go around. That's what I, I wanted way, to know. In a way, it's a good constraint. Like it doesn't, like you have to be, it forces you to have to be discerning about what you're, you can't be lazy. You have to go, what do I really care about in this image? And mm -hmm. if, it, if it's bigger than the scanning bed, how much bigger is it? So I'll scan it and then stitch it together so it's properly coherent. Yeah. But but it, it makes you have to be discerning, and you're like, okay, I, I'm I'm not gonna just like scan the whole thing and and right. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to think about it. What do I care about? Yeah, and you'll take the different parts of it, and that's what you'll scan. Okay. And then the the other thing I wanted to know too, and the reason I asked that is because you said you had terabytes of files. Which first of all, do you have them on your own server? I'm assuming. Yeah, I have them on multiple drives, which I you know backup redundantly because I'm just always terrible. Having worked in tech, I know what happens when backups don't. I've learned back. my lesson that way. Yes. I, 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 me, I got a NAS drive at my house once and I was like, cool, I finally set up my own server and I had it. And then one day I came home, I'm like, what's that clicking noise and lost everything. <laughs> and I had no backup to it. And it says to create a backup and there's even a slot for it to do a backup to, and I'm like, well, I don't want to buy another server. Now I know why I had to. So anyway, yeah. Sorry, that's my sob story. Never mind. Um, anyway, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, so with those, the other reason I wanted to ask that is because um, with all those terabytes, how do you organize them to, do you just randomly go through and like pick stuff or how are you finding stuff or going, I'm going to save that for later? Like after a while, it gets overwhelming. I mean, even looking for photos for crying out loud of my family is just like, where's that picture we took? Uh, maybe it was on this day, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I can't, I can't say my system is great, but this is the other benefit of having worked in tech most of my life is that um, I actually, for at least all of my 
my professional projects, I actually use a tool called Trello. I actually use oh, a okay. on board from like agile methodology, which is used for software development yeah. to kind of track, you know, is it in a, like, if I have an idea for something, I'll put it into its own little note card. If I actually start working on it, it moves over into the slot of in progress and it might sit there for however many weeks, months, years it'll be. Yeah. Um, and then it's kind of like, you know, once it's completed, then I have kind of a checklist of things in terms of how I publish it out to, to, to stuff. But I, I kind of track things that way in terms of what I'm working on. Now, as far as I, how I deal with all the files, I've over the years, every couple of years, I have to kind of refactor my process because I, I think of a better way to do it because eventually just the volume of files, it does get problematic. Mm -hmm. uh, part of it's just structured kind of like I've got a tree structure based on certain themes that I, I kind of come back to over and over again. So I know they're roughly going to be in, there's about a dozen categories, I think, at this point. Okay. And the tree structure. And, and within it, like as I'm working, I, I've got a naming convention for how I name my, my PSD and my TIFF files for just the primary stuff that I, that I, the base material ends up in. Yeah. So if, if I know, if I've completed a work and we'll call it X, and so there'll be a whole bunch of files that might be because of a particular theme be inside of one directory, it'll, it'll have X in the name. And then if I've got something that's derived from that, I actually keep, um, uh, uh, a catalog of, of where they kind of derive from. Smart. It, it, because there's no other way to do it. Um, I think right now I've only got like the last two or three years roughly cataloged, and it's a it's in my Google Drive. It's a single like, you know, uh, not a Word file, but a Google you know uh, Word Word file. Yeah. It's about twenty pages long. <laughs> so I just it's like. You know, I, it's good to keep track of because there are times where you're like, wow, wait a minute, I sourced that from something else. I don't remember what it was. Uh -huh. It's why, oh, it came from X. Okay. I, you know, it, otherwise it's, you know, I figure at some point I'm going to croak. Someone in my family might care to like track what Uncle Joseph did. Here we go. <laughs> um, you know, there, there's, there's, there's my sense of immortality. Right. You know, it, Who would have known he would have left us homework? <laughs> <laughs> I have left you as your inheritance an errand. Yeah.